ladies and gentlemen, king of the air. I'm feeling the magnetic attraction right now. So an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> So rad, it was so dangerous to try different things. Kevin, my name's Evan. You might be the lucky one. We need some music. You should send me a voice note. I love it. I love it. Join us on episode 1 of Love at First Kite, where our contestants will meet with pro rider Jesse Richmond to see if he and the North kiteboarding brand are right for them. What a mustache on that guy. Oh, Jesse. Awesome people out here. Your mustache does look impeccable. I mean, it is a secret, top secret formula. Here at the North booth and at North and Mystic, I mean, we got we got a lot going on and things have been wild and crazy. And, you know, I mean, I don't even think I need to talk too much about the gear. All I'd say is if you want to try something awesome, you probably should try our stuff last because once you get out on the water and try it, it's it's gonna be, be game over, so. And if you want to shop around, that's totally cool. I respect that. I respect you guys wanting to kind of mingle with all the other brands. It's fun, it's a fun game, but, uh, if you want the end game, look no further. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, king of the air. So uh, we're gonna bring a few contestants from Love at First Kite up to ask you some technical questions about the kites or, or what have you about the industry. Um, so with that, I'll bring in our first contestant. My name's Evan Purcell. I identify as a jabron. Um, my relationship with my kite gear over the last season has just been, uh, it's been a really tough one. Um, I've broken three bars. Uh, torn the panel out of my slingshot RPM, um, blew up my 14 meter Rebel. Um, so you could say it's been it's been a really tough uh, tough for me out there in the the romance world with my kite gear. Uh, so I'm here just hoping to to find my new love. Um, I also feel like I've I've hit that point in my life. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in my 30s now, and I'm really just looking for a quiver of kites that all use the same nozzle for my pump. I couldn't be more excited about uh, uh, going out on my date and, uh, and getting some time with North. I feel like out of all the brands here, they're the ones I know the best. Um, I'm currently riding a, a North Rebel and North Evo. Um, actually, my first kite that I ever had was, a, was the North Rhino. Um, so I'm excited just to spend some more time with them, get to know uh, a little bit more about what their new equipment's all about. But uh, yeah, I couldn't be more excited about it. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure to be sitting here with the king of the air. Oh my gosh, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you for thank you for coming and joining. Um, well, happy to be here. Would like to know um, about any new recalls you have. I currently have a Mystic Stealth harness, and uh, I have no idea if it's the one that's being recalled or not. I mean, there's a ton of things that happen in the world where you're like, ah, we can improve. And with North and Mystic, every single thing we're constantly learning, constantly improving upon. And with our stealth bar, we did have, we yeah, we had a new and improved hook. I personally never had any issues with the one in the past, but as soon as we see that one thing is a potential flaw, we're like, hey, let's recall everything, put that out there. But that's, I've been with North Mystic for a number of years, and that's the only time I've ever seen something like that. And with my kites, my all of my equipment, I literally put myself in positions where it's life-threatening scenarios and I'm trusting my gear. And the reason that I'm with North and Mystic is because in those scenarios, I can't be thinking, is my kite gonna fail? Is my board gonna fail? Is something gonna fail? I need to just be totally focused on where I'm at and that's why I ride for North and Mystic. I appreciate that and the foresight to get out there and recall the stuff because my stuff breaks all the time. That's why Mystic redesigned the spreader bar and yeah, the first iteration we can always improve upon but now with this reinforced version, I mean, good luck breaking that. Beautiful. All right, so we got harnesses squared away. Let's talk kites. Um, I'm currently riding the North Evo. I love it. It's a great kite. Tell me about the North Evo. Um, well, we don't currently, we don't make the Evo anymore. That's Duotone north in our range. The Evo, I believe, is the big air kite. I think that's the Rebel that you guys make, which I also love that okay. great, super fun kite. I love it, I love it. Well, you're mixing up some of our models a little bit. The north range, we have the Orbit, which is the big air kite. 
we have the reach, which is the do everything kite. It, we call it the desert island kite. If you were stranded on a desert island, this would be your kite. And we have the carve. If you were stra stranded on a desert island with me, what three things would you bring? Definitely a reach and two magnets. Tell me more about the magnets. I don't know, they're really fun to play with. They are. I'm feeling the magnetic attraction right now. I mean, North they're Mystic. This is utilitarian. There's so many things. You can pin things up together. I mean, there's a lot you can do. It's a dangerous weapon, too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I like danger. All right, uh, North. Yeah. You got, okay. All right. So we got the kite sorted. A little bit of, of uh, confusion there on, totally. on stuff. But uh, cool. let's talk control bars. Yes. Um, click bar. You guys just really stepped it up by getting some new technology there with the bar. Talk to me about the click bar. Okay, once again, you're confusing the brands. It's okay, I understand that you're new to this kiteboarding thing, but we have at North the simplest, most refined control system that I've ever experienced with an incredibly easy universal um, chicken loop that you can swap out. So it doesn't matter if you're going to the surf, you can have your surf slider, you can have your freestyle loop, you can have your standard loop. They click in and out, no tools necessary. And if you look at our bar we want it to be something super clean and super reliable and that's basically what I, it is. I love them clean and reliable. Exactly, exactly. I like something where there's not too many things getting in the way. There's not any of these funky features that maybe work, maybe don't. Everything on our bar works perfectly every time. Gotcha. Okay, so you guys don't make the click bar, you don't make the Evo, you don't make the Rebel, no. you make a bunch of stuff I've never heard of. You got some new name stuff going on. You know, if I'm going to pick a brand to be with, I want to make sure that there's longevity here, right? I'm looking for a long-term relationship. For sure. How do I know that you guys aren't going to be, uh, you know, a new brand next year? I mean, if you're if you're just basing your entire opinion on a brand off of a name that you kind of know, then you know, I think that's on you because that means you're failing to do proper research. And if you're failing to do a proper recon, I can't help you because there's a lot of salesmen on this beach and they're gonna try to talk to you about all sorts of gimmicks and all sorts of things. And I like them, I respect them, they're all great people. But I'm just saying, you know, you, you should probably you should probably try some stuff out before you uh, yeah, make, make I mean, a decision I, based on a name. I hear you, that's why I'm on a dating show. I love it. Love I, it first, Kite. Hey. I love you, Jesse. Thank hey. you. It was a pleasure. Try our kites. <laughs> I'm curious to hear what you think. They're fucking awesome. So coming out of the, the date with North was, uh, was a little confusing. Um, going into things, I was like, I know these guys. I've been riding their gear for years. Um, you know, I don't even know if I need to go on this date. It'd be nice to just reconnect. Uh, but coming out of it, they started changing up names of their kites on me. Um, telling me that, that the North gear I've been riding, they don't have that anymore, saying that that's old, trying to say it's duotone. Um, so a little confusing. Um, I did like the fact that, uh, that they do make a, a good, strong, girthy bar um, with, with the easy, quick connect. Something I'm really frustrated with is uh, when you punch out, because I break my gear all the time, so I, you know, I have to punch out pretty frequently. Um, and you're trying to recover your uh, your chicken loop and it just doesn't pop back in. So uh, I love the fact that uh, that you can pop things in and out real fast. Um, but again, North, uh, I liked a lot that you guys had to say. I still don't know exactly who you are. Would you go on a second date with them? <sighs> yeah, um... I think I would. I think I would like to spend some more time with them. Uh, you know, I think there's some things that, that we, we need to flesh out, get a little more understanding. We probably need to have some more open communication um, about kite quivers and, and kite names um, and understand what their lineup is. Uh, you know, I think they're still trying to figure out who they are as a brand. Um, you know, apparently they're telling me that we've done this name switch thing and, you know, we're no duo tone is the old North and we're the new North and we're a new brand, but we've been around forever. And yes, you've been riding our kites, but they're not ours. Um, you know, so I think with maybe some counseling, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if this early on in our relationship, we should be talking counseling, but, uh, with some open communication and some counseling, I think we could, we could really sort things out, but what they had to show me really loved it. Jesse, I mean, what a mustache on that guy.
Hey, yo, if you guys are liking what you're seeing here, make sure to smash that subscribe button somewhere along down here and follow along on Instagram at Frothmasters. All right, let's get back to the show. Natalie, I'm here with the Bridge Boosters from San Francisco, and I really came to AWSI looking uh, to settle down with one brand. I'm looking for one place that I can find everything. So yeah, it's been tough, I would say. I do get a lot of crap for the set I'm riding right now. How's it going? Oh my gosh, it is going excellent. How awesome, I'm great. My name is Natalie. I'm out here representing San Francisco. You might have heard we have a couple different organizations here representing different parts of California. I have. I do have a question for you that might settle a couple debates. Please, bring it on. If you had to choose one place to live in California for the rest of your life, taking kiting into consideration, would it be NorCal or SoCal? Oh, this is heavy. Um, Careful what you say. I mean, I think I'm going to have to go. As much as I love warm weather, as much as I love warm weather, I think I like waves more. And I think I like strong wind more. So I'd have to go with NorCal. Yeah! <laughs> That was a low blow for some of the other some of the other gentlemen here. I, I, they, they felt that deep. They felt that deep. It's okay. We're all part of California at the end of the day. I mean, I'm not really part of California. I live in Hawaii, but I, I, I'm with you. It's pretty here. nice. Yes. It's pretty nice out there as well. So my other question for you is how much of your success would you attribute to your gear versus your individual skill, skill level or the conditions in where you kite? I mean, I think it's a big combination of all of them. I, you know, if I took a handkerchief out there, I would probably not be the best kiteboarder. So if I take the best gear out there, I get to utilize all my skills. It, it, it kind of works. And at King of the Air in particular, it's, it's always such a wild day and it's such a wild event because there are a number of riders that you know could win and it's based, I would say, on who is really in tune with their gear and who's having the best day ever. So my tactic this year, or last year when I won it, was I kind of was like, oh, I don't care about it, it's all good. I was actually sitting in an RV with my wife and our daughter listening to classical music the whole day, chilling out in between heats, and then I'd go out and I was like, all right, let's dance and play. Well, I feel like a lot of the other riders were pacing back and forth, super serious, really <laughs> intense about it. And uh, yeah, that was a good life lesson. Got it. So I know you're NorCal over SoCal, but if you had to choose one kite setup to kite for the rest of your life, board and kite, what would that be and why? That's so hard because I love waves and I love big air. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't choose. No. I can't. What do you think of foiling? I love foiling too. There's a time and place for everything. It's so hard. Wing dinging's super fun. Foiling's fun. Big air is fun. Freestyle's fun. Big waves are fun. I mean, it's all, it's all fun. So as a recent addition to the kite community and someone that's trying to progress, one thing I noticed is that there's not a lot of women in the kiting community. What would you say to encourage more women to get into the sport? I'd say we, I'd say this is, you know, you can help us with this. There's so many amazing females in the sport. They're incredible professional riders. And I mean, it's just a, an, a really fun, pretty user friendly sport. And I would say as a whole, we need to progress it. And I don't necessarily know what the key would be to get more women into the sport, but I fully support it because it's, it's always fun riding with, with gals. It's fun riding with guys. I just want to have more awesome people out here. Agreed. All right. Well, thank you, Jesse. Oh, thank you. I went and had a conversation uh, with the North team and they kind of weren't on my radar. They were kind of sort of kind of in the back of my mind. And I think once I talked to Jesse and I had that, conversation with him, I just sort of felt a, a deeper connection uh, with that brand specifically. It was something about the way he described his progression on North uh, and kind of the soulful aspect for him that really connected me to it. And it's one of those things I think um, that made me want to kind of jump all in. I hadn't had that feeling before. It made me sort of want to get rid of my mismatch of gear and kind of go all in with one person. <laughs> Hey, how's it going?
it going? Captain Borgasm of the Froth Masters, the greatest kiteboarding clan to ever exist. And um, yeah, I'm here on Love at First Kite, uh, looking for love as always. Uh, you know, everyone knows kiteboarding is 95% flex. So I'm just looking for the, the gear that makes me look the best, honestly. Um, I've had a lot of long walks on the beach that have been really unenjoyable and I need some gear that makes me look better when I'm doing this this long walk and um, yeah I don't know I think I look really good in black I like the black sails and so that weighs pretty heavily for me um, I like I like doing loops so yeah just gonna be out here looking for love uh, to help me uh, yeah kind of fill the the needs of the flex I was really excited to meet Jesse Richmond's mustache. It's been all over the place and it looks so good when he comes off the water. And I just, I had one question for him. All right, my name's Captain Borgasm. Hello. I am Hello. with the Froth Masters and it's great to be here. The most important thing for me out on the water is mustache control. Now, I know this is a personal question and I see you coming in off the water and it's impeccable. My question is, what kind of mustache wax do you use? I mean, I'm, I'm totally unprepared for this question, but if you have to know. I need to know. Froth wax, froth oh. wax. It's the best. It doesn't matter how hard you're frothing, this wax will hold. Okay, because I kind of have that problem sometimes. I'm just frothing and like my mustache is getting in my eyes and I just, I don't know what to go, you know? It's like. It's a common problem, I've seen it. It's the age old question. How do you keep your mustache intact while going full send? And I mean, I've, I've been on this R&D project for years. I've been testing everything I can find. I don't know about you. I mean, your mustache does look impeccable. I'm just gonna say, very, very clean. I don't know how hard you've sent lately, but um, have you been sending lately? Oof, uh, well, I have been sending lately and- So how do, how do you keep your, your staff? Well, actually, I was gonna ask you if you knew where froth wax comes from. Oh, well, I mean, it is a secret, top secret formula. It's all organic, all natural. Some might even say it's the nectar of the gods. I can't divulge more than that. I've already said too much. Dude, so we met Jesse Richmond. I mean, our first date, Jesse Richmond sparked for flying instantly. We bonded. I looked into his mustache and we connected. I think, you know, we instantly formed this mustache bond. I asked him about mustache control in the water because obviously he's the king of it and you know, he dug into his wetsuit and pulled out froth wax. And it was then that I knew that we were soulmates, mustache mates, stash mates, the deepest bond two kings can have. You know, it was at that point I realized it's not even about brands anymore. It's just about Jesse. You know, that day at the expression session, we were down by the water and he came up, he said, you know, he's twirling his mustache, looked at me, he's like, hey, come here. Go down there, I'm gonna give you a high five. And I was excited, I got down there, and he's coming up, give me a high five. Jesse, the mustache man. And he comes up and just sprays me. He trolled me, oh my gosh. It's almost like he knew, that's, you know, that's the highest level of affection that a frothy can have. And to get trolled by Jesse Richmond, that's when I knew that this was gonna be a lifelong thing. So yeah, I think I found love here. Oh, Jesse, I'm just gonna run it back. Oh, and his voice too, you know. What brand does he ride for again? Oh yeah, Froth Wax. Well, I think I'm all in with that one. Could figure that out later. <laughs> <laughs> in the next episode of Love at First Kite. I pop it as hard as I can. I'm trying to find love. No way. So an ex-boyfriend. 